Hey there creators, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a fantastic feature inside of PowerDirector that can level up your video editing game. Okay. Theme designer. Whether you're creating a slideshow, a travel video, or something fun for social media, this tool can save you tons of time while keeping your projects professional and creative. So what exactly is Theme Designer? Well, it's PowerDirector's built-in feature which helps you use ready-made templates with dynamic transitions, animations, and effects. This means you don't have to spend hours manually setting up those effects. You can get an awesome look with just a few clicks. I'm gonna show you what you can do, I'm gonna show you what you shouldn't do, and a few other tips and tricks. Let's get into it. I have a new project open here in PowerDirector. I'm going to import my folder. Now you can import your pictures directly in with Theme Designer. However, when you do so, it, it actually brings them into the library. So you may as well do it here up front. Now I'm going to bring in a folder, uh, this one for project testing. I'm going to bring the whole folder in. If I open this up, this is just some um, still photos and, and pictures that I took last this this summer. And I'm going to use that for testing. I also have here in my media, in stock media, here I have four videos that I've downloaded for this tutorial. So we go to the top here under the tools menu and here is theme designer and just open it up and you'll get this window and then it'll jump, quickly jump to this window. And all this does is it selects which one of these Templates you can have that you need to use now if you don't see these a lot of templates in yours You need to go to application manager And this window opens up it'll check for updates so you can see we've got a director suite update I'm not going to update it at the moment and Here on the left hand side you'll see it says effects packs and if I scroll this all the way down here, you'll see these premium power director content and you need to look underneath the text and it says there theme designer templates. I've got this one installed. This one's got particles, menu templates. I've got this one installed and this one here, this says theme designer templates. See that? Now these are about the only two or three that you actually have in all of these. So that's the ones that we've, that's why I've got these in on, on here. Now there's not a lot you can do here. You can just basically check out what it is. If you just click on it once, you can click on see the demo. It will take you to the, into the internet and you can click on the demo and see it there. All, all that's all that is. And if you look down at the bottom here, you can see that it's got five different areas for this, for this template. And if you see this little blue number underneath that tells you how many photographs or videos that it takes inside each one of these now certain certain ones have transitions with them like this one it says here underneath grid with transitions this says notebook with transitions so basically you could just click on one whichever you like let's try the grid one i want to click on it once it'll highlight it you see it's changed the the blue numbers have changed for the different amount of photographs or videos that you can have in there and now we can actually bring that in. Now you can't click OK anywhere because we've not got these selected. Now you can see right in the right hand corner, there's a little place where you can click on each one. There's an easy way to do this. If you just click on this button here on this one and it will select them all. Now, obviously, if you don't want them all, you can deselect one or two or three, whatever you like. I've got them all selected. Now you can see on the bottom right here, the OK has, has turned up. So let's just click on OK and let's see what it looks like. So basically, this is it. We've got the first one. This is the opening. If I play this, it'll just show you the opening. If we go like this. Let's stop the music. No music. Let's try again. There you go. And basically, it'll just play this one track here only. And it goes like that, and it's a pretty decent thing. It's it, it's okay. So I'm going to stop it right there. Now, if you can see here on the left hand side, we've got seven pictures that we can put onto this area, to this piece of the clip at itself. Now, if you look on the left hand side here, it says add more sequences. Now, if you if if you feel like oh, I could add some more sequences, that's not enough for me. So here on the left hand side, you see this says add more sequences. So we can click on this little button here. 
and we can add more sequences. Now, yes, you can add <laughs> another template. I I really don't think you should do that because you'll be running one template over another template and things are going to get absolutely crazy. However, down on the bottom here, we can select, let's say, let's select this middle three. Just select this one like that and click on OK. And now it will add another one. So we've got this one and this one, the same, and they add them together. So you got more in. And of course, if you don't wish to have this anymore, just right click here and remove selected template. And there you go, we're back to where we started before. Now, of course, here on the left hand side, you can see we've got these six on this one. So let's start at the beginning. Let's go to this number one. We've got seven areas where we can add photographs into this. So the photograph, photograph, photograph. Now, this shows you a photograph, but you, you, you can basically put a video in here. It doesn't really matter. But I highly recommend following along with this because here you can see this has got a double, which means you can either have a picture or a video clip. I prefer to use the video clip because it gives that wonderful continuity to this as it's running along. Because the last one, if I double click on this and play, the last seven, see, look at that. It, it takes time. It's a nice, so it makes it look good when there's a little video drop in there, see? So the ending, which is, which is really nice. Now, as you can see, we've got all our media files on the left-hand side here. And of course, we can import more media if we so wish. And then on this all media, you can change this from all media to, to videos. And there you can see the four stock videos that I brought in. It's also there. And this is all my media. Now, if we go all the way down to the bottom here, you can see this little clip here. It says autofill empty slots in the sequence. Now, if you... If you want to do that, go for it. But it just randomly throws bits of photographs everywhere. Even here, this might be a photograph and this might be a video or, and it's just random. And so if, if you're doing like for a family or a get together or, 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 or children or siblings, you, you want some kind of continuity. So you'd have like older brother, older sister, middle and, and, and then work your way down or older child, younger child. And then you'd work your way down here like this. And then at the ending, you probably have a little video clip where they're all playing together or they're playing outside or in the park or something. So you need to think the continuity of each piece of the picture. So you, you drop in a, a, a photograph, you just drag your picture like this and drop it in like this. I'm just going to do this as a random thing like this. I'm going to leave the bugs like that. I'm going to put this for one there. And then I'm going to bring the bugs on this one because it's got this nice con continuity. And then I'm going to bring this video clip here onto this last one there. And if you just play that along now, you'll see you get my title. We'll come to that in a moment. And it plays along and you just get this wonderful effect with the theme designer. It goes along, shows all these little pictures. Look at this. Pretty sweet, right? Not too bad at all. And then you get the video like this. Now, of course, because of the, this is a tutorial, we, there's no continuity or anything. It's just these pictures. So let's go over to the right hand side now because I turned the music off. Now, it says here background music. Now, you can have background music, a default first page, which it starts from. You can have it imported. I mean, you can import your own sound if you so wish. You can download your own sound and no music. Now, let's look at this default first page is where it starts from. So it starts from here and it runs all the way to the end, right? Simple, imported. So you can bring in your own sound file. Now, the, the next one is a little bit strange. This is called download. And where does it download from your meta, which is on inside PowerDirector in here? Now, the problem is... Let's have a look at folk music, right? If you've not downloaded any of these and you click on it once, it downloads it. And if you click on this, it downloads it. So if I click just once on all at once, it's downloading it into my library if I play this. So if you just keep going through and listening to them, it's constantly downloading everything. And uh, you, 
you're going to have a lot of sound files that you really don't particularly need. So I'd highly recommend that you choose your sound or or music that you want before you actually go there. I have a preference for this and, and leave this on default first page because I can change the music at a later date. So let's just take a look at some other things here. We've got the title settings. So if you just click on title, it says there, my title. And we can just put in here flowers or, or just make it look something like that. And here you can add, add text on this one here. We can just add text and type in here last summer, right? If I can spell it, there we go. And that's it, you see, it just changed it for us. So if we just go back and just click on this, it's so slow. Oh, let me turn off the sound. Sorry about that. No music. And I'll turn it again. Flowers. And, and then a little bit later, it'll come up and show you the last summer. Uh, and it's a pretty neat thing. And just go through each one. There you go, last summer. See that? Pretty neat. So when we've got this set up, now we can just make sure, so, so make sure you've, you've deselected all this and click on, so we can autofill it, autofill by library order, and there you go, it will fill, there are no empty spaces remaining, click OK. And basically what it's done is, it's filled everything up for us with pictures, see that? Now the thing to point out is, is make sure there's nothing selected here, because if you're here, Let's say I'm, I'm right down at the bottom. Let's say I'd got this selected and then I went here and clicked on autofill. It would autofill from these only. It wouldn't take any of these into consideration. So make sure you make sure you, all your pictures are deselected. So to deselect it, just click somewhere where, it, where it's, it's not like so. Somewhere in, in the middle, I usually go around. See that what's and that's touching in there. It's not touching anything. See? Excellent. And then it will autofill for them. But I highly recommend you, you, you put them in for con continuity to try it out. So we've got no music. Now, the last one thing they want to look at here, of course, is this little grey area you can see here. Now, if inside here it says background. Now, you can't change the background. I've tried. We've got some transition settings turned up on this one. Oh, look at that. But we're looking at the background one here. I can't change the background. No matter what I do, I can't just bring in a background onto this. It won't work. And the simple thing is, because the template doesn't allow that, there are only a few templates that allow you to change the background. Now, we can have some transition settings in here as well. So if you click on the plus sign, you can have a look at these, and you can add in your own transitions. If you so desire, I particularly don't like to use these, because here's the thing it kind of crashes the program. It, it seems to want to do too much. So I try to avoid that. Now, if you do feel that you'd like something, for example, if you would like to have an effect on something, let's say this flower here, I'd like this to be black and white. I'm going to go to effects, see it's black and white, and I'm going to drop this onto the flower like so. And you can see it's got this FX button. Now you can actually click on this FX button. Please don't. This will crash PowerDirector. Uh, it'll just kick you out automatically. It's just trying to do too much. I have a mid-range computer fully maxed out with RAM and everything. Uh, it crashes. So I don't particularly enjoy doing that. Now if I wanted to play this one piece here, we can see and see what effect it looks like. Has it done this effect for us? See, we've got this, and um, we've got two, these, they're just pictures. One's a picture, one's a boat. You see, this is a boat. Apply zoom in on the media clip. Then we get this, these poppy seeds. I think they are whatever they are. I'm not quite sure what they are. They were a nice picture anyway. And then we get this, and now you can see, look, it's got this black and white effect added to it, which is pretty cool, i got to admit. But don't try to edit this. I'm not going to click it because it's going to ruin this tutorial. Um, but give it a try and click it. And if you want to try it out, if it doesn't, if it works for you and you can modify it, happy days. If it crashes, <laughs> you've been warned. <laughs> and there you go. Um, basically, that is all we have on our media file. But so let's go look at this background now. I kind of 
derailed from what I was trying to get into. Uh, but let's go back to background. So I'm going to cancel this altogether, like so, to go out. So let's go back into tools. Let's go back into theme designer. I'm going to same thing again. Only now we're going to go with something else and see where we can find out where we can change backgrounds. And I think it's here. I think it's just the postcards. I'm not sure if Notebook does it, but postcards, I'm going to click on this little mark here. It's got all these there, and I'm going to click on OK. And now you can see we can change the background on the right-hand side here. So you can bring in your own background on this particular one. Oh, music. So let's get rid of no music. Let's go like this. And there you go. It's, this, is, this is actually quite a nice template. I kind of like this one. It's got... It's, it's a little bit slow. It's not got that um, craziness going about it like the other one. So there you can go. You can change the background, add your text, everything else you, you want to do. Now, I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to just randomly put everything, autofill. And there you go. There are no empty spaces remaining. Click on OK. So every one of these now is full of pictures like so. Now, if you've chosen the, the music here on the right-hand side, if you've got default first page, that's fine. You can, don't music, it doesn't really matter because we can add music later. So now you've got everything set up. You've got all your pictures in, your videos, you've got all your tracks. If you've done a background and you've had some effects, all you do now is just click on OK. And it will bring it down here onto our timeline. See that? And all you do now is you just play along and away you go. See and you've got music. Now we can right click on this here and link unlink the video and audio. So then we can add in, for example, when it changes, we can add a small music clip here and then we can add another music clip and then and keep adding different mu music clips to the areas that we want. We don't have to have to suffer this one track, which is pretty cool. Now, Let's say you, you've gone here and you're like, oh, I don't particularly like that, that plan. It, you can double click back here and it'll tell you that any edits you made to the selected content on the timeline will be reset once you enter the theme designer. So if you add something here to the timeline, it will be reset. It'll go away because we're going back into theme designer. So if you click on yes, let's go back into theme designer. And now you can rearrange the, the pictures and think, well, that that didn't work, or that one didn't work, and then go back and do it again, and 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 until you finally find the one that you want. I'm going to switch this no music before we do this. I'm going to click OK. So now we've changed everything out. Now you can see the timeline is still stayed the same, but if we play this now, we've got no music, see nothing. So now we can add our own music in as well, which is nice. And then you can add effects in here, you can split it, you can do anything that you normally would do with a clip. But if you double click on this or on a, one of these, it'll tell you that you'll lose everything when you go back in to Theme Designer. And basically that is it. All you need to do then is just export it like you normally would once you've made all your corrections and enjoy. How cool is that? Give it a try yourself, see what you can come up with. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, don't forget to click subscribe, give us a like, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload new content. Go check out my channel for all things Cyberlink and more. That's my rant for today. Have a great day. Stay safe, people.